Hello everyone and welcome again to Whiskey Wednesday. Sticking with our Lost Distillery theme this week, today we're talking about Gersten. Now Gersten was a distillery that was in the very upper highlands of Scotland, very close to where Old Portney is, um, Wolfburn now, so it's a little place called Holkirk. Um, I can't remember like the rest of the county it's in because I'll pronounce it wrong and I'll offend all the Scottish people who watch this channel, so I'm sorry. Um, it was started by a guy called Francis Swanson who founded the distillery in 1796 and then the distillery itself actually closed in 1882, I believe. Um, and it closed due to uh, the loss of its water supply. So I don't know whether that, uh, whether it actually kind of dried up or whether it was diverted for, for the means in the upper parts of Northern Scotland. Um, but either way, it should give us that kind of old Pulteney, possibly Kleinly, salty, sweet sensation going on. So let's examine this one too. Quite similar to a few of the other ones, it's quite light in color. Quite light bodied, it doesn't stick to the glass in a really thick way, so you can probably imagine most of it is old bourbon barrel style stuff. Um, yeah, kind of falls away quite nicely from the side, but just means it should be a slightly lighter taste more than anything. But yeah, let's give it a little bit of a smell and see what's going on. Okay, so it is in instantly quite rem uh, reminiscent of Old Pulteney. It's got a kind of um, glacier mint, or just kind of mint leaves. Kind of fresh pastry, it's got a little bit of powdered sugar in there. That kind of uh, that white icing you get on top of uh, cakes and that kind of thing. And in the back, this kind of hints at some exotic fruit. A little bit of passion fruit, actually. Really, it's kind of much like the Orgnaki, it's actually quite clean and fresh. It's a really nice smell. I could smell that for ages. So yeah, mint, kind of pastry, pastry icing, some exotic fruit. Perhaps a little bit coastal, maybe a little bit salty. Let's find out. That's genuinely really lovely. Um, that's so soft and easy drinking, considering where it comes from. You think Old Pulteney's got that really kind of herbaceous, over the top, well it's not over the top, but it's herbaceous and it's salty and it's kind of almost savoury driven towards the back. Klein Leash is kind of similar, it's salty and waxy and quite lemony. This is super easy drinking. I'd be mistaken for thinking that's like a Lowland or a Speyside. It's really, really pleasant. Initially hit by kind of like a powdered sugar sensation, really sweet, really not chloringly sweet, but it just kind of gets your attention. And then as it develops, it just becomes really soft, quite thick. And then those little flicks of that kind of glacier mint and mint sprig style come through. It's a little bit herby, could be classed as salty, certainly a savory kind of herbaceousness. Slightly dry finish, um, not particularly long. So it's like short to medium length finish. We're quite thirst quenching. It's not particularly dry. It just kind of coats your mouth. It's very Moorish as well. Quite like that. Pretentious tasting note of the week. I don't know if you can only get these in the UK or not, um, but we have like these little kind of chalk candy sweets that you get in like a twizzle, like a twizzled up little bit of cling film. Um, and they're called, um, what are they called? Like refresher sweets or something. It smells a bit like that. So it's kind of chalky candy things and they're made from some type of fruit that's not really acknowledged what it is. But they smell a little bit like that. Slightly chalky, a little bit mineralic. That's really, really nice. Um, I think all of these bottles retail for like 40 to 50 quid, somewhere like that. Um, if that was sat on a shelf for about 50 quid a bottle, I'll quite happily buy that. That's really, really good. Um, I'm gonna go like an eight and a half. It's not the most audacious whiskey on the planet. It doesn't kind of hit you with loads of punches of loads of different flavors, but it's just very pleasant and it's very welcoming. Um, it's kind of what I expect Lowland whiskies to taste like, and some of them do, some of them don't, so I'm not really blown over by a lot of those styles. Um, but this being an Upper Highland, 
that's very, very, very good. Uh, so yeah, that's my score. Really, really good quality whiskey for that. Eight and a half. Gersten. Keep an eye out, guys. Uh, this has been Gersten. I'm Phil. This is The Whiskey Jar, and I will see you all next week. Cheers.